Hey, what's going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So, uh, hope everybody having a good week thus far. It's Thursday, feeling good today. Um, just wanted to do another tapping in topic with you guys. I want to talk about dreaming. I mean, is it okay to dream? Is there an age requirement for dreaming? Um, and do we ever stop dreaming? So, that's what I want to talk to you guys about, in my opinion. <clears throat> And that's what I want to talk to you guys about. And I want to address this. I know this is not fish related. You know, the thing is about this channel is that I want to make sure that I'm trying to, I want to make sure that I'm inspiring, motivating, and helping you all in any way that I possibly can. Um, you know, so that's the reason why I like to do these videos. Um, if it works for you, if it's useful, great. If it's not, it's still okay. But I definitely want to touch. I definitely want to touch on these topics with people that it might benefit or be helpful to, you know. So uh, for those of you that actually appreciate these topics, for those of you that actually look forward to these topics, for those of you that may need to hear these topics, uh, I hope this. Uh, I really do hope this helped you guys. So uh, let's talk about dreaming. So I don't believe that dreaming ever has an age requirement. I believe that starting from a two-year-old all the way up to a 72-year-old, it's okay to still dream. Dreams, in my opinion, is what creates excitement out of life. It Honestly, I believe that it gives us life because it's the things that we don't see necessarily in front of us. It's the things that we could possibly see five years, 10 years, 20 years and you know down the road. Or it might just be something that's just, you know, gives us that excitement and that feel good you know, and whenever what life is hard, so whenever we're going through things, it is a great thing to be able to feel good. So if we able to pull, pull some of those dreams from our imaginations, it's great to be able to do that. So never stop. And then let's talk about do we ever stop dreaming? I believe I believe that naturally it's like we automatically stop dreaming if we're not spending time doing that because it's so easy to get stuck in the here and now because you know it's life you know it's so easy and then a lot of people preach the here and now i definitely believe in living in a moment enjoying the moment capturing the moment i believe in that 100 percent. but those dreams can still give you that excitement still add to that moment it gives you it gives us reason so spend time on your dreams take time spend more time on your dreams than you do on someone else's dreams. I remember as a kid, that's all, you know, I'm an 80s baby, so coming up in the 80s, you know, 90s, that's all we, technology was not like it is today. You know, we had to call popcorn for the time. We had these big moving box type computers no cell phones so we had nothing we only could dream we only could imagine you know we had to use our imaginations to play most of the games that we played you know we were outside all day imagining dreaming talking so i think that's part of the reason why now it's kind of hard like i remember my son told me he was like 11 years old he said he don't have an imagination because he was trying to draw a picture and um he couldn't find it online i said use your imagination Say he don't have imagination. That that kind of, that crushed me. You know, he's 20 now. But that crushed me because it's like I never felt that way as a kid. I never felt that way as a kid. And the thing is, I don't believe that he was the only one that felt that way. You know, I believe that a lot of kids that's, that was around his age at the time felt that way. So it's because we're just overstimulated with the computers being at our being right here on our hip, just everything being so quick. You know, back then, back in the day, we used to actually have to talk to people to get answers. Now we just go online. You know, kids don't even have to ask their parents anything. Just Google it. An answer to any question you have. Mostly any question you have. So uh, let's get back to the dreaming topic. So it is very important to make sure that adults, kids were dreaming. It's okay to dream. When you, let's just say, let's use, let's use the fish tanks as an analogy. So you have, in a mind, you have in mind that you want a 50 gallon, 20 gallon, 10 gallon fish tank, whatever the case may be. You already envision it. You say, I want a fish tank. 
and you imagine the fish that you put in, you imagine how it's going to look, you create that. And now you're watching it. Now you're watching your fish swim around. You're taking care of your fish. You're feeding your fish. You're cleaning the tanks. You're doing everything you're supposed to do. You're nurturing your creation, your fish tank. That's a dream. Might have been small, might have been big, depending on who you are, depending on how big the tank is. I mean, if you have a 100,000 gallon aquarium, that's a very monstrous dream accomplished. So it's a dream. So I know we all dream and I want you to understand like it could be something like that. It could be you buying a car that you really want, putting it, putting the work into the car, building it and making it look the way you want it to look. That was a dream. You literally envisioned that before you created it. Now everybody else gets to appreciate your dream. This fish room was my dream. It's not the end dream. I have a bigger dream in mind, but I literally seen this two years ago. When I first built these stands for the 225 and the 240, I knew that I was going to build other stands to match it when I finally got my fish room. I knew that this sign was going to go on the wall in my fish room. I got this sign about a year ago. These carpet tiles I got three years ago. I knew that they were going to go in the fish room. The paint, same thing. So I envisioned it. I created it. And now we're all able to enjoy it. So uh, sometimes others won't be able to appreciate your dream until it comes into fruition, which is that's, that's okay. It's also okay to keep your dreams to yourself because sometimes if someone can't see it for you without being without intentionally doing so, they may rub, put their fears off on you and it might, you know, shade your dream. It might redirect you from your dream because of someone else's fear. So sometimes keep your dreams to yourself. That's okay too. It's nothing rude about it, not disrespectful at all. But in the end, spend as much time dreaming as you possibly can. When you're not working, spending time with family, not doing, spending time with friends, spend time with yourself, dreaming, imagining, because when you dream it, you believe it. And when you believe it, you achieve it. So I wanna make sure that your dreams are crystal clear. Make them crystal clear. That way, you know exactly how to get to them. So another topic, another tapping in topic. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope uh, it didn't ruffle any feathers or anything. But I appreciate you guys. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Oh, yeah, check it out. This is what I'm doing right now. Just wanted to paint the sink to match. I don't know. The small things. I'm going to paint the inside of this blue. See how dirty it was looking? So that's the reason why. Fresh look. That's all. Not even recording the process, just enjoying it. So, again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Follow me on Facebook, The Fish Corner. Follow me on TikTok, The Fish Corner. And also, follow me on Tapping In. Get the other channel, Tapping In. So go ahead and get on over. I'm going to drop some, start dropping videos over there as well. And anytime that the topic kind of like is controversial to the fish, things and something that can be relative to a fish keeper i probably will just put it over there i don't want i don't need to have controversial topics on the channel so um thank you guys for watching i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one peace